Iris. Hi, Iris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, Iris, this is your opportunity to ask whatever you want to Steph. She said there's no limit on what you can ask. Okay. Well, it must be amazing to be captain, but what, do you, what skills do you think it requires? Try and lead by example, but also be there for your teammates on and off the pitch. Well, thank you. Put her to work. Put her to work. <laughs> I've never been very good at keepy uppies. Do you think you could give me some tips? I'll, I'll try and show you anyway. <laughs> Let's have a go. Keeping the ball nice and close to your feet. Keep your eyes on the ball and try and use both feet as much as you can. Well, that's don't amazing. drop it like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Lovely to meet you, Iris. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Future ready network and everything we want to achieve with 5G. Also, talk about our cloud enablers. In a Ford with amusement. I was slightly confused at this point. Well, I think we'll definitely be talking about new ways to communicate and much more immersive experiences, taking ultra high definition content and making that available to people on their devices. A holographic call is a great category of what you'll be able to do, particularly through virtual reality headsets or augmented reality headsets in the near term. And then in the longer term, the full immersive room system that you saw, enabling people to interact in totally different ways to the way they do today. So everything you see is running over 5G. There is nothing else. We're just using 5G technologies for the streams. Up on you the can see the Halo Lens stream that Anne's looking at in the Halo Lens and what that would look like from a virtual reality headset. Like, if I could make it happen that Steph could be in the room with us here today but still be based in Manchester. I'm allowed to stay. Five G is critical for us to offer the fastest possible network we can. We know when we give customers more speed and better quality services, they use more services. That's just a simple reality. Maps works better, videos work better, they consume more and they enjoy that service much, much better. So having a faster network is absolutely critical. Five G is the way we're going to be able to take that forward into the future. traffic, our home broadband traffic, and our fixed internet traffic. And of course, soon we'll be carrying our 5G traffic. I will also give you our view on what this means for contact centers in the future. Well, I think with any new technology rollout, whether it's 3G, 4G, or 5G, of course, it's new. It needs to be tested, needs to be integrated, and it's great to have the network, but the network, of course, needs the devices. So there's a whole set of ecosystems which need to be developed over time. Uh, when they come together, it delivers a good experience for customers, and that's what we're seeing on 4G now. 4G will evolve, and it will happen again with 5G. I think in terms of Europe, I think the UK is well positioned and is in some ways um, a, a pioneer market for 5G, maybe a little bit behind one or two, but, but certainly well positioned. But I think if you look at Europe compared to the US, um, Korea, uh, Japan and, and, and maybe even China as well, I think it's definitely behind um, in terms of bringing solutions and products to market and also um, ambition to, 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 um, to launch the technology. Would you be happy to do it here? 